piece of my testimony. Every enemy assigned against my testimony. Scatter by fire. Opia mata tonda fire. I say scatter by fire every enemy above in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every enemy sitting on my seat of glory. As I pray, scatter, scatter by fire. Zake prakato bahari katia. I say scatter by fire. In lega dere bebe ke bere bebiya. In nara baka bando rebebiya. In lega dere bebe ke bere bebiya. La branda raba baka bandaria. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Irregular bebeke bere bebiya. Irregular bebere bebeke biya bralia. Labrada raba ba raba ba 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 ya. Element lebe biya bralia. Ragada baranda lebe biya. Zonde element element kabaya. Aramando lebe biya bradi. Irregular bebere bebiya bradi. Shada ba raba ba rebebe kabaya nda. Holy Ghost element lebe biya. Irregular bebere bebiya bradi. Rebebe rebebe ke biya bralia. Raba ba raba ba raba ba kabaza ya. Eleven de Lebrebia, Regada Rebeber Bibia, Rababa Rebebeca Berbebia, Rababa Rababa Gaba Shandabaha, Eleven de Lebrebia, Regada Rebeber Bibia Bradi, O Zagadaba Haya, Eleven de Lebo, E Rebebebia Paya, Rababa Rebebia Bradi. In Jesus' name we pray. Wish grab power. I'm borrowing my properties. Say be paralyzed by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Magadaba hadelia. Rebebe rebebe kabarebebia. Which can power upon my property? I paralyze you by fire. I paralyze you by fire. Rebebe <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. Glo glory to God. Josephine. 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 Mando Robosh. Rebebe la balabazia parandosh. Rebebebea. Shout this loud and clear. Shout this loud and clear. <laughs> Say witchcraft powers are signed against my glory. You're going to pray this one for a while. Amen. Witchcraft powers are signed against my glory. Die by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Baradish. Regadere rebebeke berebebi abradi zada braba berebebeke berebebi ya regadere rebebe rebebe kabaya ilebrende rebebe rebebe berebebi ya rababa rababa kabando rebebi ya regadere rebebi ya 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We are changing our realms of prayers. I don't know why every time we go on Facebook broadcast and we begin to declare, the spirit of Jezebel arises. I've noticed this trend for some time. There's this rage from the spirit of Jezebel. Always rising. Always rising. And I can see the reflection. Always. Now we begin to pray. I see the reflection. You can see the reflection in this media. When the spirit of Jezebel begins to attack, it begins to try to block some ways where people cannot even reach or communicate in the Lord. And this is what we're gonna we're gonna start we're gonna we're gonna start doing some prayers which will release some people, release some people, and release the social media, release some things in the spirit. Hallelujah! He's gonna start releasing some things when we start addressing this nonsensical spirit. Hallelujah! Amen. Say this loud and clear. Moko raba ba rebe bi You you are you are married. You need to you need to pray this prayer with aggression. Hallelujah. You are, you are going through some issues there. You need to deal with, with some serious issues here. You need to pray. Hallelujah. Some serious what? Hmm. It is a serious matter. It is a serious matter. And the only, the, the, only the strong will be able to um, um, go through and be victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the Holy Ghost. Say this Lord. Say every gate of hell assigned against the church of God in my life. Every gate of hell assigned against the church of God in my family. Scatter by fire. Every satanic gate, the the gates of hell, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Hallelujah. Amen. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 17. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 17. Let's quickly go there. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Enough is enough. And the devil must lose, lose his hold. Moko raba ba rebe bi aparadi ash. Amande le bante le bo boko brando ribi bi ozayas. Elege de le balaba ya bradi ash shunda bahaya. Elege de rebe bege bi abrandi shidi asus. Ha, Zechariah chapter one verse seventeen. Come on, iPad. Come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, you acting up. Kalaba de le bo shunda bahaya. Yede le bebe aparadi ash. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because there's almost be some serious work here today. Cry out, saying, Toss here is a lot of hosts. My cities through prosperity shall yet spread abroad. Here is a prophecy that was declared by God. Here was a word that was given to his servants. Here was a word that was given to those who have been waiting upon the Lord. Here was a word that was prophesied, amen, out for all those who dwell in there. That God is about to release great prosperity, great increase. But there was a great resistance in spite of the prophetic word. Have you ever received a prophetic word and there all of a sudden, instead of you seeing the promised land, instead of you begin to see the reality that even though God had promised them, I'm taking it to a land flowing with milk and honey, I'm, I'm very fast. I will slow down. Amen. And you, you see the Lord promising them, I will take you to a land flowing with milk and honey. But there were so much giants in the land, so much forces. Amen. Paul says that there is a great and effectual door, but there are many adversaries. What are the adversaries that the enemy are talking about? What are the adversaries that have been militating against you? What are the adversaries that have stood up as a giant, as a resistance against your prophecy? Amen. Hallelujah. One of the things that God did not like is that men will just sit down expecting a miracle to come on their laps. Amen. God was not interested in that. In fact, God actually placed a curse upon them that they will see it 
Joseph, they will enter the land. Amen. But there were people who were so radical. There were people who called Caleb and Joshua. Amen. These were people who saw differently, who had a different eyesight. They didn't even understand. They didn't even know because the Bible says that even when these crazy men came back with a negative report, the Bible says that Joshua and Caleb went to go spy the land. They came back with a positive report. It was after them God spoke. God did not speak before them. Hallelujah. So God was ignited against the people who looked down, the people who underplayed, people who had no faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. And now we are seeing a realm that at which God declared, including Moses was cut short from the land. Why? Because the negative impact and the negative thoughts, the negative and if you hang out with people who have no faith, it will rub off for you. If you hang out with people who are always discouraged, it will rub off for you. And here it was Moses, a man who always had an encounter with God. But because of the naysayers around him. Amen. Amen. Those who were elders. Joshua was not among the elders. So all of a sudden, it affected his thoughts. It affected his mind. Amen. Forgetting that he's anointed. Forgetting his anointed. Amen. You see, God always looks for people who are have a heart, a big heart, a big heart, a big heart, who are able to take the land, not just for themselves, but for God. Hallelujah. To take territories for God. Hallelujah. In spite of demons or strongholds who have taken their place. So now we are about to pray. There are prophecies that have been confirmed on your head. Why every time we come on this prayer line, there must be a warfare. There must be a resistance. That devil is a bastard. And today, whatsoever that the enemy has claimed over your life, you will see, we're going to we're going to strip him off his blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready for prayer? He reveals something. Hallelujah. As these people begin to, they begin to see the resistance. And it says what? Then I lifted up my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. We don't even see. Some of us don't even see. Amen. Some of us, the enemy has covered our eyes, and we don't even see the obstacle, the barriers, the limitation, the hindrances, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the oppositions. Amen. But today, today, I say I saw four horns. Four horns symbolize demonic authority. People who have stood to resist the will of the Lord. People who have stood to resist revival. People who have stood to resist the church of God. People who have resisted the crying out, the expansion of your prosperity. So today, even as we are going to pray today, you are going to cry out with so much hatred. Whatsoever limitation that has been set up against you in the spirit, set up against you in your family, set up against you amen, from materializing the prophecy that has been declared over your life, today will be broken. If there's declared that they will see the glory, Amen. There are forces that doesn't want you, amen, to see the glory. And one of the forces today, we're going to deal with them. Hallelujah. Hall we're going to deal with some special forces, some satanic demonic forces today. Hallelujah. But, 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 I don't want to go deep into this topic because the topic is what the Lord has laid in my heart for tomorrow. Hallelujah. So this, this is what we're going to do. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Say this loud and clear. Say every horn of darkness. Crying out against my life. I dismantle you by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Uh-huh. I dismantle you by fire. Every satanic honor, I destroy you by fire. I destroy you by fire. A in Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Every satanic gator raised against my life. I said, die by fire. I said, die by fire. I said, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Kabarabaha. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout it loud and clear. Say, Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. 
issuing curses against my life. Fire by fire, open your mouth and fire prayer. Regada rebebe kabaria, ilagada rebebia, regada rebebia, regada rebebe kabaria, regada regada rebebe abaradia. Fire by fire, regada rebebe kapa, ilaga regada ria, regada rebebe kabaria. Fire, 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 rain kaba, Lebron the Rakatoria. The name of Jesus. Is that the Brecket Rebebia? Recket Remaka Sandaba, a Lebrecteria, your palace on the waters, a Greketeria, a Greketeria, a Greketeria, a Greketeria, a Greketeria, a Greketeria, Barazada Mazada Bahaya Baradus, Mon Lebreke Zebraha, Evro Borodoboho, a Jandabaharia, I command. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this one loud and clear. Say every... <laughs> say every wicked camp of the wicked. Say upon the household of Jezebel. Fire of judgment. Fire from heaven. Fire from heaven. Fall upon her by fire. I say, let In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody, go and get a knife quickly. As I was praying, I heard the voice of the Lord says, Take hold of the sword. Take hold of your sword, son. Take hold of your sword. Because I'm about to avert judgment. Take hold of your sword. What sort of nonsense? Take hold of your sword. Grab knife in your house. Grab knife in your house. Take hold of your sword. Take hold of your sword. I love when the spirit of cancer begin to speak. Take hold of the sword. What sort of nonsense and resist? What kind of resistance is that? Gather your knife. Take your knife, a big knife. And hold it as you begin to pray today. Save every power from the waters. Assigned against my glory. I caught you down by fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Rekete baraka teri katia. Every asumba hatelia. I caught you down. I caught you down. Eka brada raka teria. Eleke reke teria. Reko baha. Zene katiri kiata. Evrando roko suya. Ageri akara matelia. Ageri makatolia. Ageri makatolia. Ageri makatolia. Ageri makatolia. Rekete baraka teria. Emena meke pia bradia. I caught you down. In the name of Jesus. Sake Baha. I caught you down. I caught you down. I caught you down. Regadere Bebe Gadere Bebe Abradia. Egadabra Baba Rebebe Bia. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See every Python power. Every Python spirit. Manifesting in my life and in my dream. I caught you down by fire. 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 I caught you down by the name of Jesus. I caught you down by fire. I caught you down by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. I remember the testimony of his sister. I remember the testimony of his sister. And every time there was a financial resistance, financial limitation, financial obstacle, she never, she walked like an elephant, always ate like an ant. Where is this attack coming from? Where is this warfare coming from? How come I can never meet all my bills? When I calculate what I've spent, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's like somebody's Sw sweep, sw swallowing my, my finances. Hallelujah. Swallowing my finances. By the time if she, she, she's earning her money, somebody must be sick. The car must break down. Something must happen in the house. My son must need help. Something. Can't I ever save? Why do I have savings? She went to the man of God. The man of God said, Ah, <laughs> there is a strange hand that is eating from you. And that's all the man of God said. This woman was so tired and so upset. She came home with calculating bills. She just got angry, say no. She put the, the paycheck. I put it on the table, on the ground. 12 midnight, she brought a big knife, a butcher knife. You know those butcher knives? I begin to say, any hand that is stealing my wealth in the spirit, any hand that is harvesting my prosperity in the spirit, I cut your hand. I cut your hand. I cut your hand. I cut your hand. She didn't stop on the, on the two hours. Two o'clock, she was tired. She went to bed. She went to bed two o'clock. I mean, five o'clock. Sorry. Two o'clock. Hallelujah. It's 45 a.m. in the morning. They called her. Ah. <laughs> Mama. Mama was complaining. No. Her hand, her hand. And she was bleeding on her hand. Bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. My hand, my hand, my hand. And she gave up the ghost. This mama is the woman that she loved. From that day, money, she was able to finish the building, the land that she bought, on completed building that she left. She was able to finish it. Because why? A strange hand was taking wealth from her unknowingly. We're going to pray with the knife in your hand. With the knife in your hand, you're going to pray. Every strange hand that is prospering from my finances, every strange hand that is taking wealth from my life, in the name of Jesus, I caught your hand by fire. 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 Open your mouth and turn the fire. Reggae de rebe be kapa. Liban de rebe be kapa. Randi ribe biya. I caught your hand by fire. I reggae de rebe be kapa. I caught your hand. I caught your hand. I caught your hand by fire. I caught your hand. It's terrible. I reggae de reggae te prakatoya. I reggae de rebe be be kia. I kill him make a pilia. I kill him make a pia katusa. I reggae de rebe be kia. Every hand. Invest in my prosperity in the spirit. I caught your hand by fire. I caught your hand. I caught your hand. Look at her. Reggae de rebe be kapa radia. Reggae de rebe be rebe be kapa. Mazanda badala bahaya. Rebe be. In the name of Jesus. 
Or what sort of nonsense is that? Mm, nonsense. You have such audacity. In the name of Jesus. Manda rebe beke bereka dia. Reke de reke de breke zeketea. Maza da ba da ba. Ele bra ba ba rebe be ya baradish. baradish. Zeke lebe lebe beka baradia. Reke de rebe be rebe be ya baradish. In the name of Jesus. Sanda da ba 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 ka ban te rebe be ya baradish. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, in the kingdom of God now, there's a time everybody is trying to attain perfect deliverance. And once your spirit, once you have received 20% deliverance, you can be able to still call upon God. He will answer you. 80% can still be occupied by the enemy. And when the enemy occupies that 80%, amen, you go to bed, you're a different person. You wake up. You pray, you minister to people. People even get blessed. Hallelujah. And it's very, it's, if you're in that category, I really ask God to really help you because I know it can be very difficult. It can be very hard. It can be very, you may not like the situation you are in. You want God to really rescue you from that nonsense, from that filth. And that's what the enemy usually puts, apply pressure to oppress you by, by, by most, compulsory, compulsory bondage. And my soul weak for you that God will liberate you from that nonsense. Because I've seen a lot of people in this kind of captivity. A lot of preachers, a lot of ministers, a lot of prophets, prophetess, who have not been fully delivered, who are just delivered for 40%, and they go into this serious bondage and oppression. Amen? We're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. <clears throat> We're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Every pit prepared for me by Jezebel. Every pit prepared for me by Haman. Oh, my enemies. Fall into that pit by the fire of God. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Reggae barada ribibia barandia. Zelebrenda rebebega beribibia. E reggae de rebebega beribibia. Every pit prepared for me by my enemies. Reggae de rebebega beribibia. A gada rebaba rebebega beribibia. E reggae de rebebe rebebega beribibia. E reggae de rebebe rebebega beribibia. E reggae de rebebe rebebega beribibia. Rababa baba rababa beribibia. Le rebebe 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 beribibia. Reggae de rebebega bia. Rebebe rebebega beribibia. A rebebe rebebega beribibia. Reggae de rebebe rebebia. Manda rebebe rebebi. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Say this all and clear. Every strong man assigned to, assigned to neutralize my prophecy. Every strong man assigned to neutralize the manifestation of my prophecy. Before we pray that prayer, remember that prayer because I'm going to ask you again that prayer. We're going to sing this song. Be magnified, O Lord. You are highly exalted, and now this one thing you can do, oh Lord, my eyes are on you, be magnified, oh Lord, be magnified. Be magnified, O Lord. You are the exalted, and there is nothing you can do. O Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. 
Oh Lord, be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. I made you too small in my eyes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. What is the prayer point? Every strong man, what? I think I'll be able to understand when everybody's talking. Okay, fine. <laughs> Every strong man assigned to neutralize. The manifestation of my prophecy. My father, my father, my father. Let my strong man aspire. Open your mouth, thunder fire. Reggae de rebe beke bere meata. Egala mandela baka brinaria. Reggae de rebe beke biya bradia. Reggae de rebe beke bere bebiya. Every strong man. Reggae de rebe bere beke. Reggae de rebe biya bradia brados. Mandele bandele bobo sabahayas. In Jesus' name we pray. This, this prayer is for your sister. I, I, I show pity for your sister, for your, for you, my, 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 my sister. Your, 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 your kids are under serious attack. Amen. Your kids are under serious, 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 serious attack. Serious attack. Serious attack. Pray this prayer loud and clear. Yours. <laughs> Jesus. 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 Say this prayer loud and clear. Say this prayer loud and clear. The message of God is about to fight for you. Every enemy that has vowed that my that my children will not prosper. Every enemy that has vowed. That my children will bring me sorrow. Die by fire. <laughs>
In the name of Jesus. E gada raba ba rebe bi abaradish. E raba ba rebe bi abaradish. Zile ba da raba ba abaradish. E raba ba rebe bi abarandio ribe bios. O raba ba rebe bi abarandia abaradish. E la gada la ba ba rebe bi abarandios. Ale bandu rebe bi ke bi abaradish. In the name of Jesus. Sada braba ba rebe bi ke bi abaradish. We command it to die. Let it die by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Abrazo Raba Sadahas. Amen. I really want to this well. He's not by mind. He's not by power. But by my spirit says the Lord. He is not by might, he is not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain has been removed, this mountain has been removed in Jesus' name, this mountain has been removed. By my spirit, says the Lord. It is such, such fun to see, such fun to see. Satan lose. It is such fun to see, such fun to see. Satan lose. Jesus is our winner man. Our winner man. Our winner man. Jesus is our winner man. Our winner man all the time. Jesus is a winner man, a winner man, a winner man. Jesus is a winner man, a winner man all the time. A winner man, winner man, winner man, winner man. A winner man, a winner man, a winner man. A winner man, a winner man, a winner man. A winner man all the time. Somebody shall fire. Somebody say this devil now bastard. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shout this loud and clear. Say, let the confidence of my enemies. Oh my goodness. Shout the prayer. Say, let the confidence of my enemies. Let the confidence of my enemies be shattered to pieces. Opiamata tonda fire. Regaza baraka de bahara. Ilaga de lebre. Regga de rebe bege berebe via baradia. E regga de rebe bege berebe via. Let the confidence of my enemies be shattered to pieces. E regga de rebe bege berebe via. E regga de rebe bege berebe via. E regga de rebe berebe bege berebe via. Taro of the Lord. E regga 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 doro. E rebe bege berebe via. Regga de rebe berebe bege berebe via. In Jesus' name we pray. Satanic veil over my life. Satanic veil over my life. Cast fire. 
In Jesus' name. As we are praying, I saw a sister you're going through a serious financial crisis. A sister right now, you're going through what? Serious financial crisis. It's like there's a spirit of autopos. 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 That is over you. Or you feel heaviness. You're going to praise play out loud and clear. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> Say forces from the waters. Binding my progress. You remember when you wake up from sleep, there's a way you stretch. You, there's a way you stretch. And when you stretch, you stretch forth. Now when you pray this prayer, you stretch, breaking every limit. Every force is from the waters. Say forces from the waters. Binding my progress. Release me by fire. La braca de rebebe que berrebebia. El reque de rebebe que berrebebia. El reque de rebebe rebebe que berrebebia. El reque de rebebe rebebe que berrebebia. El rebebe rebebe que berrebebia. El reque de rebebe rebebe que berrebebia. El reque de rebebe rebebia. Release me by fire. El reque de rebebe que berrebebia. El reque de rebebe rebebia. Forces y cada rebebe. El rebebe rebebe que berrebebia. Libran de rebebe rebebe que berrebebia. Release me by fire. 
Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> hey, Jehovah. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and mind belong to our God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanks given, and honor, power and mind belong to our God. Forever and ever. Amen. Belong to the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Almighty, we give him the praise. We give him the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. How many of you are intercessors on this prayer line? How many of you are intercessors on this prayer line? I am. I am. Yeah. Are you, can, you, can you go on a fast for one day for this event? Hallelujah. I've still been fasting, yes. Yes, I've still been fasting. Amen. We need just one day, just one day. We need somebody to just do one day to pray for the ministry, for the pastor and the rest. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It is it is not by force. It is not compulsory. It's not a must. Amen. It's not a what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God Almighty. There are many things that are happening in the realm of the spirit. I've, I've, I'm so troublesome in the realm of the spirit that you begin to attract what they call high level warfare. High level warfare. Amen. High level warfare. You wonder why people are so focused on you and it's just unbelievable. Some people are just so scared that they will get exposed. I don't know. <laughs> or you know too much information about them. So, so much. So they get so intimidated and they do everything. It's all good. Sometimes you just come on the prayer line, you just do your thing and you focus. But there are folks that... Oh, boy. Psalm 35. I wonder what God is going to say to us. Psalm 35. We'll be wanting to go into this level of prayer, dimension of prayer, but the Lord is wanting us to go here now. Psalm 35. 
Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. <clears throat> Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of the shield and the buckler. Stand up for my help. Draw out the spear and stop. Now the spear can be like sword, but it's, it's a spear. And stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have reached a time in ministry and a time in God. Hallelujah. That every time you want to do something really real, even tangible, even for the Lord. Amen. You see that the enemy begins to come with his full rage. The enemy begins to come really bold, really stubborn, really upsetting to trigger something just around your life. I want to say this to you. Before this, we will see that David was a man who was strategic. And many times he wrote, if you read that uh, Psalm, Psalm 34, Psalm 34, he says, Lord, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. This is my soul. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Verse 5, they look unto him and we are lightened and their face were not ashamed. Hallelujah. It is a very serious, serious, serious time that we live in now. Very peculiar season. And let me tell you something right now. The strategy of the enemy is to make you sleep. Because a little sleep, the enemy begins to gain ground against your life. A very little sleep that you give to the enemy, a very little sleep you release, the enemy is able to manipulate you. In Gethsemane, we saw that Peter himself was able to be manipulated because he slept. Hallelujah. Why did Jesus say Peter, Peter? He said it to everybody, but Peter in particular. John the Beloved was a man who was awake. Amen. And he was able to tap into the realms of revelation. He was a man that was somewhat was praying with Jesus. Hallelujah. Because when you read the book of Psalm 16, I mean, so the book of John chapter 16, details about the prayers of Jesus was given, was released. Amen. But somehow after that, it was, amen. Hallelujah. After that was the time where the soldiers came to arrest Jesus. So apparently they were in Gethsemane in the time of prayer. Hallelujah. We're not really going there to that Gethsemane story, but one thing I want to explain to you is this. You must understand that during the time of crisis and during the time of prayer, you must pray. When God gives you a prophecy, you must pray. Even when you see the reality of the prophecy, you must still pray. Amen. Because it takes prayer to keep, to get to your breakthrough. It takes prayer for breakthrough to manifest. And it takes prayer to keep your blessings. Hallelujah. It takes prayer to keep what? Your blessings. Many lives has been disposed. Many lives has been harassed. Because there have been no man or woman who have taken the horns of prayer. Hallelujah. Have you felt dry inside of you? Have you felt low inside of you? Have you felt tr uh, troubled on the inside? Amen. The only thing that can bring this stillness, hallelujah, the only thing that can bring this stillness is what? Prayer. So by prayer, you're able to silence the voice and the cries of the devil. It is by prayer you are able to access the secret place. Now, how do you make your prayer beautiful? How do you make your prayer responsive? How do you make your prayer filled with an holy incense because remember this now prayer is a voice prayer is a conversation prayer if prayer if a if a if a conversation which is prayer must be sweet before your maker it must have a sweet savour flavor it must have uh, you, the incense must carry some sense of holiness hallelujah some sense of purity and how do you invoke purity in the place of prayer hallelujah we're going to be looking at some things here hallelujah amen Hallelujah. We can just approach God and just start praying from our heart of worry. Amen. But God, there is, a, there is something that, it, that, that the Lord looks at. And one major thing is what? Um, 
uh, uh, for broken heart, a broken heart, a broken and a contrite heart that he will not despise. Psalm 51. A broken and a contrite heart. Amen. When God sees a level of brokenness and he sees a level of repentance, hallelujah, you made a thorough repentance before him. You cried out before him, Lord, show me mercy. You really weep and you weep. Amen. There is a level that which you begin all of a sudden, the Spirit of God begins to really help you to pray. The Spirit cannot help you to pray when there is so much offenses in your heart. When you take things so personal, you hear reports, you read things out there, you personalize it like it's yours. Amen. Every now and then, we come into a place of offense. The enemy brings this, introduces offense upon our lives. And if we're not careful, the spirit of witchcraft is very revengeful. The spirit of witchcraft always want to revenge. They touch you one by mistake, touch you this, you want to ah, avenge, your countenance changes, you, you are so strict, your face, everything. They could see it in your face that you are angry. It's an, it's an it's a witchcraft spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like you lost the glory just because someone said this, no one said this. Don't do that. Don't cross the line. Stay in the place of what? Maturity. Somebody say maturity. Hallelujah. Somebody say maturity. Hallelujah. So when you begin, when you, you must, you must be very mature and composed in the realm of the spirit because the devil will always want to swift you, swift you anyhow, any moment, any day. Keep, keep your composure. Hallelujah. Keep your composure. Many times you want to react, go and find yourself good worship, good worship and stay in God. Hallelujah. Because when you start offering prayers to God, hallelujah, amen, from a bitter heart, not because you want to really pour your heart to God, but because you are vehement amen that prayer becomes an abomination before the lord a prayer offered through the hardiness of your heart becomes abomination upon uh, upon god amen god resists the proud god resists the higher mindedness when it begins to amen begin to dissect the voices that is there that is erupting to the heavens he sees so many emotions mingled with it hallelujah but when your heart is clean when your heart is real when your heart is genuine is a man who has crossed through the tunnels of worship. You go through to, to worship, to purify you, to redirect your heart to God, to, re, to seek Him the first in your life. Amen. And so when you now take worship, amen, it also reconciles your heart. Amen. From the, for the for where you've fallen before, reconciles you back to the Father. And then when you begin to approach God in prayer with sincerity, if any man has an offense against his brother, the Bible says, and he has an offering, drop the offering on the altar. Go reconcile and come back again to the altar. Hallelujah. And that was what the Lord was trying to explain. Reconcile your heart back to Him. Reconcile your heart back to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So much things happening in the realm of the Spirit. So much nonsense. So much confusion. The devil will do everything to instigate you, to manipulate you, to influence your heart. If you just go by his bidings, fine. Because as a man see it, as a man think it, so is he. As a man think it, so is he. If you are thinking negative, so you are. Hallelujah. And everything, every time you tune your mind into the negative, you open a realm of evil over your life and over your family. But I pray for you today that suddenly the power of God will snatch you out from this grip, from this wicked grip in the name of Jesus Christ. We will snatch your children out of these negative thoughts in, by the power in the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, so this, this, this level of prayer, the dimensions of prayer, that when you begin to get into a realm with God, hallelujah, once you realize, be very conscious about your relationship with Jesus. Amen. And make all make make sure, make sure that you're so connected with him. Because anything that stands between you, you, you and him is a blockage before the master. A blockage, a blockage, a blockage. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, when last did we worship? When last do we really thank God and say, Lord, I thank you for what you have done today. I thank you for my family. You really spend time thanking God for your children. When was the last time you were really grateful for what the Lord has done in your life? Amen. As we come before his presence, amen, on a daily basis, we must acknowledge him. We must thank him for what he has done. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Now we must understand too that when you are going through serious, serious warfare, when you're going through serious, serious attacks, there are demons, there are, there are, there are demons who use human agents, amen, pioneer them, use them, get hold of their emotions, harden their hearts, prepare them to wage war against you. And some of them get connected with you. And when this happens, the only, the only way you can be rescued is to ask God for his mercy. To just run onto the secret place of the Most High. Finding that secret place, the way by you can abide in Him. 
Hallelujah. Find it a secret place whereby you can abide in Him. Where you can rest in Him. Where you can say, Lord Jesus, please come into my heart. Just turn your face upon Him. And say, Jesus, please be real to me. Be real to me. And once you begin to sense this, His love will come. And He will wrap Himself around you. Hallelujah. He will wrap himself all around you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mombra kasa brandele bon suda bahaya. Yiligi agave ro borodo rebebi abaradish. Azeka la bandele bon suda bahayas. It is an awesome time. It's an awesome moment. Joshua chapter one. Joshua chapter one. Amen. Verse one. Now after the death of Moses. The servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, minister, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise and go over to this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give unto them, even to the children of Israel. And go over to the land, every place that the sole of your feet shall tread. That have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Hmm. Now, every place that the sole of your feet shall tread, that have I given unto you, as I have said unto Moses. The feet, there are treasures, and there is a power, and there's a level of authority. That has been released upon our feet. That when everywhere we go, God has promised and released his promise upon us that the Lord will give us that place. Every place that the soul of the fish shall trade, I have given unto you, unto Moses. Not everywhere now. You can be in the wrong place and God has not given you that city, that territory. But here God is instructing Joshua. Moses was prepared for Egypt. Moses was prepared to rescue the people out of Egypt to the wilderness. Now Joshua, you have been prepared. If you stay here, your territory is not here. This is not where you have been ordained to rule. This is not your place of rulership. Your place of rulership is Jordan and beyond. But from, once you cross Jordan, the land will submit to the treading of your feet. It's true that every, from you, the moment you reach Jordan and onwards, every step you take, the land will give itself to you. God begins to give him his allocation it was there his blessings was prepared for him verse 5 there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as I was with Moses so will I be with thee I will not fear thee nor forsake thee be strong and be courageous. Be of a good courage. For unto these people shall that divide their inheritance in the land. Hallelujah. It, when you see this, you realize something that the Lord is saying to all of us. It's not everywhere geographically that God has assigned you to be. There is a place that has been ordained for your feet to prosper. There is a location a land, a city that has your name on it. That if you go there, hallelujah, if you go over there, it says what in verse 5? There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. If it goes back to Egypt, people will be able to resist Joshua. But people cannot resist him in the very place God has ordained for him. 
Hallelujah. somebody hearing me today there is a place there's a realm of glory that god is releasing on you on this season is somebody hearing me today hallelujah there's a realm of glory that god is releasing upon you even right now there's a tangible grace there's a tangible favor there's an anointing that god has prepared for you till up your fish will die in the ocean Tilapia fish cannot prosper in the whole sea. Nanda can cut fish. They die immediately. They are prepared for fresh water. It's not everywhere you'll be. A shark, you keep a shark in a pond. Before you know it, his perception, everything about him begins to go down. Every man is unique in nature. And that's why God said to um, um, God said to to Jonah, go down to the place I prepared for you. But instead, he was going to Tashish, and when he was going down to Tashish, he was out of his destiny, out of his ministry. I want to encourage you because in the place God has ordained for you, in the assignment God has ordained for you, lies your true riches, lies your true honor lies your security lies your insurance lies your protection everything about the scripture is will begin to work for you once you find that place hallelujah once you find that original place many of us are in places that the lord doesn't want us to be and so when you're not in the place god has ordained for you you begin to find resistance you begin to find delays and obstacles you begin to find all kinds of things working against you. Hallelujah. And if care is not taken, you will see that even strangely, an attack, the enemy will begin to raise up against you until you identify your place of honor. Hallelujah. Many have been displaced from destiny. Many have left, left their, their first love. But the Lord wants us to return back. Hallelujah. Let's go to let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I want to share something there. Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 18. The word of the Lord which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying. Arise, go down to the potter's house. There I will cause thee to hear my voice. Not every house. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a walk on the wheels. And the vessels that he made of clay were murdered in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, said the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in my in potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Hallelujah. Yes, one of the things we are we are we are, we are we, uh, one of the things that is kind of shocking here. He went down to the potter's house. Somebody say location. There is a location the Lord is preparing for you. In this location is where you hear the voice of God. In this location, when you get to that place, you find every door open financially for you. This is where you begin to experience your open heavens. I've seen some prophets go to places God asked them to go. And in that place, they don't hear the voice of God. But once they cross Jordan and they enter to the place God has asked them to be, they hear a clear voice. They pour the open up for them. And they come. Your location actually brings you to rest. It brings you to rest. 
bring you to rest. <laughs> All right. Let's go to, I believe, uh, let me see. Hallelujah. Either Matthew or Luke or something like that. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, let's go to the book of Mark. The book of Mark. Mark. Hallelujah. Mark. Mark. Mark chapter. Let me see. Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8. read from verse 22 and he comment okay look what it says in verse uh, uh, read from verse uh, 17 when Jesus knew it he said unto them why reason ye because ye have no bread perceive ye not yet neither understand have ye your heart yet hardened having eyes see ye not having ears hear ye not do ye not remember when I break the five loaves of bread and among five thousand, how many baskets full fragrance took ye up? They say unto him, Twelve. And when the seven among the four thousand, how many baskets full fragrance did ye up? And they said, Seven. Said unto them, Why is it that ye do not understand? Verse 22. And he come into Bethsaida. And they bring a blind man unto him and besought him to touch him. Now remember this Jesus was a wonder working miracle man. Every blind that was brought to him, he healed. Every sick, he healed them. But we saw something that Jesus did something here. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. Wow. He didn't heal him right there. Took him out of town. And when he had spit in his eyes, he put his hands upon him and he asked him if he saw. And he asked, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Jesus, this man has been praying. So somehow, the Spirit of God brought Jesus to the man. When Jesus came to heal the man, Jesus kept short. Jesus did not heal the man immediately. The first thing he did was to take them, let him out of that city. Have you been in a difficulty? You've been crying to God, Lord, do some a miracle for me. Lord, do a touch for me. Del deliver me. Deliver, deliver me. Help me. But God doesn't help you. All he wants to do is to lead you out of that city. To release you out of that city. And in that city he heals you. Is where, look at, let's, let's read further. And he, 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 after he pulled his hands again upon his eyes. Sorry. Verse 23. He took the blind man by the hand, led him out of town. When he had spit upon his eyes, he pulled his hand upon him. He asked him if he saw. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him to look up. And his, he was restored and saw every man clearly. Next verse. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in that town. Wow. So in that town, Keep it a secret. In that location, don't even go there. This is your house. That is the town. Don't go there. Don't tell them what I did. Well, Jesus, I thought you want us to testify. There are some people you shouldn't tell. 
There are some people you shouldn't let them know what God is doing in your life. There are some people you should be disconnected from. Son, daughter, because your affliction is coming from where you are. Come out from among them. This guy found his house not in Bethsaida, out of the city. A place was prepared for him already. A house was prepared for him already. God healed him, sent him to his house. A house is a place of abode, is a place of rest. If you are struggling, if you are trying to be stable, to be settled, and you are not settled, obviously, you're not in the right place geographically or spiritually so many people have found themselves in this place wanting God to heal them in the wrong place and many times if God heal you at the wrong place your, temp your healing will be temporary very temporary Jesus went out and his disciples into a town of Caesarea. So, from that thing, we saw that this guy went into a place of rest. I'm praying one prayer for you. If you have been shifted out of the wrong, out of the place that God has prepared for you, God will bring you back. After Adam and Eve sinned against God, the sin forced God to push them out of Garden of Eden. The word Eden means pleasure and delight. They were kicked out of pleasure, out of delight. And so the place of rest, where everything was made for them, all provision was made, they began to walk under the sun. They began to suffer. Outside of the place God has ordained for you lies no grace available. In the place God has ordained for you has been made available grace for you to succeed in everything in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bless God for what He's about to do in your life. I pray that the very place, the very location God has ordained for you, you will find, you will locate that place. In Jesus' name, I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit that you will identify the original place and the place God has ordained for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That place He has ordained for you is a place of rest. It's a place of open heavens. It's a place, we call it the potter's house, where you hear the voice of God. It's a place you grow spiritually. It's a place you are nurtured. Is a place your fire breaks out. Is a place you are not confined. Is a place you are not res you, you are not restricted, hindered. When you are in the wrong place, you will experience captivity, oppression, blindness, oppression, limitations. Always attacks. You will labor and labor. No harvest. You know you are a woman of favor, a man of favor. But when you are in the wrong place. You'll be sweating. In the right place, that is where your ego comes out. That is where your anointing comes out. Jesus tried to survive in Nazareth. He could not. Because he was limited in that city. He tried and he tried. But they kept looking down on him. They kept looking down. Is this on the capital song? They never identified the Christ in him. So he left. He went to the place that received him. He didn't go everywhere. There was a place that was reserved for him. Let the limit break. 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 In Jesus' name. Not everywhere. Not everywhere you are called to prosper. But 
little by little, God will begin to remove your enemies. We begin to strip your enemies. Jabez prayed a heavy prayer. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. Hallelujah. Enlarge my territory. Somebody, somebody, God will enlarge your territory this season. <clears throat> he that is faithful in a very little will be found faithful in more. God will enlarge your season. And you will move in heavy, heavy speed in this season. You will be a carrier of God's blessings. In Jesus' name. When you come to your rightful place, let me tell you one indication why you know that God has, where God has planted you. The very place God has planted you, you experience surprise or favor. That's a clue. The very place that God has ordained for you, even though you're not there, you'll be receiving favor from there. You'll be receiving announcement from them. You'll be you will see hands well willing to help you from there. Jesus went to where he was needed, not where he was wanted. Where you are wanted, you will always be tolerated. Always be tolerated. But you want he always went to where he was celebrated. Everything was made available for Adam before Adam came in Garden of Eden. When he was out of location, he had to fight for everything. In your location, provisions are made. Your shelter are provided. Your car, everything is made available. But when you're outside of God's location, you fight for everything. And surprisingly, your blessings will come from the location he has ordained for you. When you study that scripture that we read now in the book of Joshua, realize that God said to him, everywhere he sows on his fish and step, he will give to him, and no man will be able to resist or stand against him. If he went to Egypt, they will resist him. But it's too, he was in the place, exact place, God asked him to start from. He said, from Jordan onwards, this is the place for your assignment. If you stay here, this location, you have 100% guaranteed success. Just follow the protocol. If you go outside of this, you will face attacks. Because outside of this, my covering is not there. Stay in the original plan. The original plan. In the original plan. We are all ambassadors of Christ. And God gives us a direction and instruction. We follow it to the team. To eat the good of the land, we must be in the right land he has described for us. Outside of that land, we begin to experience labor instead of grace. We begin to struggle so hard in everything. Amen. I am saying this because me, myself, I know the Lord has all directed all of us to the city He has ordained for us. 2018. All of us will locate the very place he has prepared for us. We're going to go there, abide there, because in that very place, we find our rest, we find peace. Our emergence shows up. In that place, there is a throne prepared for us, just like Joseph. A throne prepared for you. In that place, you're going to rule. Jesus. Praise Jesus.
praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Is someone blessed today? Someone blessed today before we go. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. I receive, I receive the agreement. I receive the agreement about the octopus that cabal, cabal the tentacles of. That's the same word that was given to my sister in law. What? Octopus. I said I received, I received the agreement on the call about the octopus spirit. That's the same word that was given to my sister in law. Amen. Amen. Mm. Yes, and all of what you said is what was the same word was also from Jamaica. Mm. Okay. Calling us back. There's a stubborn spirit at work. Okay, in, in Jesus' name, every octopus spirit over your life and your family, I break that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, let that spirit loose her right now by the power and the blood. I command the octopus spirit and his tentacles over your life. Break, release you right now by the power in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, Amen. It is what. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Father, I declare peace in that family. I declare peace in that family. I declare peace of mind among the couple. Peace of mind. Let your rest dwell among them. Bind them your unity. Bind them your love. In the name of Jesus. I declare the heavens to be open over this family in the name of Jesus. Unify their hearts. I speak peace. Amen. It's okay. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right. Well, we thank God. Hallelujah. I think we have to go now. Amen. No, catch some rest. Amen. I know many of you are already catching your flights to arrive tomorrow. Please get ready. Amen. Because what the Lord is about to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, intercessors. Intercessors. Be a watchman. Amen. I want to feel the anointing when I, I get in there. I'm praying myself, but I want everyone. Amen. Pray for us. The heavens to bust open. The heavens to bust open. If you can pray. If you can pray. Send me a text. Oh boy, who is this one now? Huh? Okay, I will add you on the uh, uh, intercessory uh, WhatsApp list. Many of you on the WhatsApp, you are dormant. You need to express yourself. Amen. If I put you there, I put you there, and, I, and the Lord wants you to be there. Amen. Show that responsibility because it's there you will grow. Hallelujah. You there you will grow. Some of you are chicken out. Don't be chicken out. Be bold in the name of Jesus Christ. Be on fire for the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Amen. I want to thank God for everyone today. I hope to see you at the conference. Well, on Friday, we will be, I'll be leaving in the morning. So, we may not have uh, the prayer line in the morning, but I will try. I will try and come on the prayer line in the morning. But it's not enough to catch my flight early in the morning. So, I'll let you know. All right. Can you include me on the session? Yes, I will do that. I will do that. I will do that. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Well, God bless everyone today. Let's share the grace quickly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, we shall dwell in God's house forever and ever. Amen. We well, love you guys. Mwah. Be blessed now. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Let me go to the dentist.